Hey, what's up guys? Matt Laidlaw here with Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. I wanted to go over a topic that I get asked a lot of questions regarding, and that is ape hanger handlebars. A question that I used to get almost daily when I had my 2009 Road King shown here in this video. Uh, people would always ask, don't those handlebars make you tired? Are those comfortable? What's the point of those? Just a whole bunch of questions that I guess you could say people new to the Harley Davidson world, you know, had that they just didn't, they just didn't understand it. So I wanted to go over this topic with you guys and I talk about where they came from, why people still have them, what the point is, and everything else. Uh, I want to start off by telling you about this ride a little bit. So this is the Love Ride, really really famous ride in Southern California, uh, starting and put together by Glendale Harley Davidson. And the ride over the years has gone to various locations, Castaic Lake, Pomona Fairgrounds, uh, just to name a couple. But this was like three or four years ago, something like that, and we went to Castaic Lake this day. So anyways, enough of that. Uh, this is my 2009 FLHPE. This is a Police Road King, a bike that I've sold since. The guy I sold it to totaled it, but that's a different story wasn't his fault, someone turned left in front of him. Anyways, uh, the the ape hangers that I have on this bike are 18 inch Carlini Gangster Apes. They're by far my favorite ape hanger handlebar, really high quality. They're really fat, they're an inch and a half circumference. And I really loved this bike and loved my ape hanger handlebars. So just to jump right into it, the first question that I get asked the most, are ape hangers comfortable? I would say it depends. And it kind of depends on the person and how tall they are in relationship to your body. I'm six foot six inches, and so I can handle a little bit taller handlebar without be it being completely uncomfortable. But as a general rule of thumb, and I know people are gonna argue with me on this one, but as a general rule of thumb, when the bars start going above your shoulders, the further they are above your shoulders in height, the more uncomfortable they're going to become. Now, when I'm riding uh, with the setup I have here, if I was riding for an hour, hour and a half, then my back muscles had a tendency to get tired, my shoulders got tired, I had to drop one hand at a time to kind of rest my hands. Uh, the blood didn't rush out of my hands. A lot of people ask me, well, do your hands get numb? And I would say, no, my hands never got numb. But I would say that even though they're not really built for comfort, uh, another thing I'll add is ape hangers are horrible on the freeway. You know, when you're doing high speeds, you know, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour down the freeway, you're like a big kite with your arms up in the air. You just have a lot of wind drag and it's just really fatiguing to ride a bike with ape hangers for a long time on the freeway. But you know, I've done it a lot. I had this bike for about four and a half years. I rode it every day, and so I did a lot of freeway riding. But anyways, uh, I will say that ape hanger handlebars are extremely fun to ride with. And I don't know, maybe if it's a machismo thing, maybe it's the feeling you get when you, you ride in a, a big lifted truck. I don't know what it is, but there's something about you know, your fists in the air and just that stance when you're riding and being on a Harley that is extremely gratifying. So I, I would recommend them. Anybody that's thinking about getting ape hangers, go for it. They're very, very fun. Now, if you're a guy that's going to be touring the United States, then you know maybe you might want to think twice about it because they are fatiguing and you're not going to be able to last as long with ape hangers than if you were to have just regular handlebars. But if you're, if you're building something that's custom, that you want to look you know, badass and just have a real aggressive, real custom style to it, then yeah, by all means, throw them on there. You won't regret it. I, I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, do it right. You know, there's, there's certain things that you have to look out for when you have handlebars like this on your bike. When you're pushing your bike or you're holding the handlebars, maybe you're pulling yourself up further on the seat, maybe you're pushing the bike. Um, there's a lot of leverage at the top of these bars, so they have a tendency to rotate uh, in the riser. And so be careful of that. Uh, Carlini has its own riser that's designed for Road Kings that I used on this bike, and they didn't budge. It was, it was really good. 
So, yeah, if you get a, and my other recommendation is if the taller they are, the fatter you're going to want them to be. Typically, ape hangers come in an inch and a quarter diameter, or uh, excuse me, not diameter circumference, or uh, an inch and a half. So, if they're going to be over like 12 inches, I would strongly recommend just for aesthetic purposes the inch and a half around. So, I guess to answer the question here, what is the purpose of ape hanger handlebars? Really what it boils down to is they are a really cool, custom looking handlebar. Really don't, they don't serve any functional purpose. There's really no benefit to have them as far as steering and handling and performance on the bike. Now I'm not talking about raising the handlebars to fit your ergonomics and your rider triangle better. In, in those circumstances, certain uh, lengthening of the handlebars is appropriate and does serve a functional benefit. But I'm talking about ape hangers that are, you know, up over your shoulders that are, you know, radically higher than really you need. In that case, really all it is is just an aesthetic look. It's just a cool custom look. And like I've mentioned before, they're a lot of fun to ride with. So let me tell you guys a little bit about where ape hangers first originated from. Ape hangers first came from and can be traced back to the World War II era. Back in that time, during the war, the motorcycles were commonly used by messengers. The men would get on the bikes, take their messages, and use that to communicate you know, to various locations. And so a common thing that the enemy used to do to uh, you know, kill them or hurt them or stop them from delivering messages is they used to hang trip wires uh, between buildings uh, from, from opposing walls. And so when someone was riding by on their motorcycle, these wires were hung at a height about you know, chest or neck level to where the riders would get clotheslined off their bikes and get killed and injured and everything else. So back in that time, the men that were riding these bikes were very handy in modifying these motorcycles which by the way is where the term chopper originally came from chopper first came from again post world war ii era where people would chop parts off bikes and really take everything that was unnecessary off that motorcycle mainly at the time just to reduce weight but then it became trendy and that's kind of where the word chopper that we use today came from but anyways coming back to the ape hangers what these military men did was they fabricated these really tall bars to block these trip wires that were strewn across two buildings and the ape hangers would act as a guard to where the line or the wire would hit the bar before they hit the rider in the neck or the chest or the face or wherever else so they originally came ba about to guard against these trip wires of course nowadays like i mentioned earlier really they don't serve that functional purpose anymore i don't think too many people are are looking out for trip wires but now they've kind of just evolved into a cool custom looking bar and so again if you're thinking about doing it go for it you know a pair handlebars are a lot of fun you got to be honest with yourself about the type of riding you see yourself doing if it's you know, just normal around town local stuff with the occasional long trip then I think you'll be very happy with them if you're the kind of guy that rides a lot rides everywhere does a lot of freeway riding and you know you want to be as comfortable as possible well then I would probably recommend against a pingers Anyways, if this helped you guys out in any way, please subscribe and like my video and, and share to those around you that maybe they ask you the question, what are those ape hangers for? Maybe you got a bike that has ape hangers and you're sick of getting that question. Share the video. Thank you very much, guys.